Hi, I'm Force, and this is video about my impressions from Lords of the Fallen game. Hope I'll say enough so we can get a picture how good or bad is this game. My current playtime is 20 hours. I play as a warrior and for a few hours I tried cleric and rogue too. Yes, you have three classes and three different magic types for every class. I discovered that the easiest way how to play this game is as a warrior, unfortunately. I hope the warrior will be harder because I'm playing with this class always. But it's just easy. Playing as a cleric or a rogue is nerve-wracking. You would like to blare your hair out during playing. Or hair on your ass? At least there is a possibility to play it again. As I, as I said, um, you have three magic types. Every type is only for some class. Brawling, for example, is for a warrior. Spells that helps, helps you in uh, close combat. Solace magic types for a cleric. Primarily defensive and healing spells. And the last one is deception for rogue, with spells focused on damage. There are usual stats, like strength, affecting damage with strength-based weapons and ability carry heavy gear. Uh, vitality is increasing your health and health potion effectiveness. Faith is increasing your maximum mana and damage of uh, magical weapons. Endurance is increasing your energy and ability to carry heavy gear. Uh, agility gives you small boost to energy and damage with sw <laughs> I'm sorry, with fast, 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 fast weapons. And the last is luck. That's for better rewards from killing enemies and for better chance to get a good rune during crafting. Crafting is they're just searching for small and big runes from enemies or chests, barrels and on and on. Then you have to find a smith that is gonna destroy these runes and you'll get special things with bonuses for your equipment. But of course your equipment has to have such socket for these things. Uh, gear. There's great variety of weapons and armors. One-handed, two-handed, axes, uh, swords, hammers, daggers, fists or staffs and similar things. <laughs> you have light, medium and heavy armor, shields, trinkets, potions. Every weapon has its own moves. It's not same. You'll use more energy with hammers than with swords. You'll be faster with light armor. You know, it's not stupid. Interesting thing about weapons is, and should be mentioned, is sound. Weapons sound sounds like uh, real steel. You know, it's really interesting and nice to hear. Soon after you kill the first boss, you'll find a magical weapon, the magical jauntlet. It has three fire modes, blast, explosive and projectile. Blast knocks uh, enemy back, explosive dealing the greatest damage from all of these three, but you must hit the enemy and that's not for sure with this. And projectile dealing nice damage, you can use it even if your target uh, is a bit far, far. All the fire modes can be enchanted, so they make a different effect or damage. Uh, enemies and bosses. Boss. <laughs> You're going to face with lots of enemies. That's for sure. <laughs> From the beginning, you'll think it's easy, because first guys you'll met aren't hard to kill. First, guy, uh, first guys are easy, then you run into some foes uh, that will be different. Kinda hard till you learn how to fight with them. Like I thought I'm fighting with some kind of minibus, but it was a normal spider, normal enemy. Yeah, <laughs> it's good that um, the game in some way gave me a slap across the face 
because until then my combat was with every enemy pretty same. So it's not boring now. Not every enemy is predictable, they'll surprise you often with their actions. It's not boring, with progressing you'll find another enemies and it will be harder. What is surprisingly disappointing is fight with boss. Bosses are not hard to kill. Fight with them is a joy, but not a challenge. Deadly is for me rather classic enemy than boss. That's kind of big change in comparison with Dark Souls, where you kill the boss for your first time on 50th uh, try. Yeah, at least I did so. And <laughs> in lots of the Fallen, sometimes on 5th. That must be really big misfortune. Leveling system. In Dark Souls you had souls, which you replaced for attributes. Here you have a classic experience. You're replacing them for spell point or attribute point. Interesting is that instead of changing your experience for these points, you should rather save them. Once you have like uh, 20,000 of experience, you'll get a double bonus experience for every killed enemy. That's interesting, isn't it? Hmm. Yeah, I know, it's interesting till you die, then again, and you lost everything. Yeah, if you die, you have uh, to go and get your ghost with all of your experience, and if you die again, without the ghost, you lost everything permanently, like in Dark Souls. The difference is your ghost is slowly disappearing. Uh, that means if you get to the ghost too late, you'll get back less of your total experience. Like 90% or 30% and on and on. By the way, this is your checkpoint on, or born fire. Call it as you like. You can save your progress here and level up your character. Enemies won't respawn after you use it. Uh, that happens when you leave some area. Now I'd like to mm, talk about uh, what, was, what was discussed, or still is discussed, uh, about the game. Uh, the main thing that was discussed before, discussed before release of this game, and after the release, is that uh, it is not hard as Dark Souls, so it is not worth to buy. Interesting is people didn't play this game, but still they knew it is or it will be a bad game. Of course, it is not hard as Dark Souls. I have to say, that's true. If you imagine classic game difficulties like um, easy, medium, hard, veteran, uh, nightmare, Dark Souls is by all means really fucking nightmare. And lots of the Fallen is somewhere between veteran and hard, rather hard, but that doesn't mean it's a bad game. Lots of the Fallen is trying to be like Dark Souls, but in the easier package. And developers are doing it good, in my opinion. What is literally better, in, co in comparison with Dark Souls, is storytelling. You know, in Dark Souls is really great story, but majority of people who played it don't know there is some, because you have look for it. Story is not shown there like it commonly is in video games. In Lords of the Fallen you have scrolls that will tell you what happened before and there is communication with uh, NPCs with choices of questions so you can really find out what is going on. So yeah, that and sounds of weapons are better here. Just for some people I'd love to mention that I don't think Lords of the Fallen is better than Dark Souls. I'm just saying in what way it is better. Okay? Altogether is of course Dark Souls the winner. Uh, the second most important thing that is making final rating of this game worse is optimization. And I'm sorry but I have nothing to say about this. <laughs> I'm in the middle of the game, uh, 20 hours behind me and it never crashed or something. I don't know why it is happening to others. That's a mystery. Uh, speaking about this, I remember one PC Gamer review 
uh, the game was crashing into reviewer really often and his GPU was uh, GTX Titan. Karma is working because I have GTX uh, 550 Ti and no problem if you don't come to worse quality. <laughs> Sorry. I think that people who didn't play Dark Souls because of difficulty could play lots of the Fallen. You learn the basics, the game is with controlling and tactics similar to Dark Souls. If you complete this game, you shouldn't have problem with Dark Souls. You just have to make more effort during playing. And nevertheless, people who played uh, Souls could play uh, this game as well, not notwithstanding the lower difficulty. It's a good game, it's entertaining, of course. It is not the best hardcore RPG in the world, but if you won't buy it for a full price through Steam or some retailer, I think it's worth of your money. Currently it is uh, on Steam for the release price for 50 euro or 50 dollars or 30 pounds. And well, as I mentioned, it's a good game, but not so good game for money like that. Fortunately, you can buy it from better retailer. A link is in the description for 27 euro or 34, yeah, 34 dollars or 22 pounds, and that is fine. That that's finally sounds better, reasonably, huh? <laughs> I hope this video was in some way useful for you. If it was, please subscribe my channel as a symbol of your agreement, and. Thanks for your time, I'll see you next time, bye!